What's going on, guys? Welcome back to another War Thunder video. Today we're taking out a tank that I've never played before. Have you guys ever bought a bunch of tanks at, at during a sale, say the Christmas sale or anniversary sale, and just never bothered with it because you've got so many other tanks to take out? Well, I'm kind of in that in that position with a few, um, and I'm going through my little list, and this is one of those the tanks that I've bought. I believe it was last Christmas when everything was half off. This is the 1943 variant of the T-54, or t excuse me, the T-3457. This is kind of an, an overshadowed, overlooked T-34. Everyone plays the 76mm version at 4.0, and the 85mm at 5.7. And even, I've, I've noticed a lot of people playing the, the 100mm version at 6.7, because of it being on sale. But I never see this tank being played. And it's a real shame because I really think this is a good, a good tank. The only issue with it is the obvious, well, there's two things. First of all, bad gun depression, but this is pretty typical of all Russian tanks. And two, it's BR of 4.7, which means it will be up tiered to 5.7 occasionally, so you'll have to face Tigers and Panthers. And to me, that is asking just a little bit too much of this, of this tank. I think it should be moved down to 4.3, just like the other version of the T-55. T-3457. Uh, the difference between this and the and the and the regular 57 is the fact that it's got a, a slightly different turret design, which allows for additional ammo capacity, and it gives you a few more millimeters of, of armor. But that's it. It's not a dramatically different tank. We've captured most of the strategic I really don't think it's it's the difference is really warranting a a BR increase. I would say move it down to 4.3 and it would be just fine. In fact, I think it would be a monster tank. I think Gaijin would sell these things like hotcakes. After all, Germany is absolutely destroying Russia and America right now in uh, Tank RB at this BR because of the Panzer IVs. The selling point of this tank is right there. It's the gun. It is an amazing gun. It has a fast reload rate of 5 seconds. The the penetration is excellent at over 100 millimeters, and the post pen damage is incredible. I went to my my favorite spot on this map. This is single cap, Eastern Europe across the water, an, an unusual setting that we don't see very often. At least I don't run into. And so I pushed up here to help my my ally here, my squad mate. Now, if anyone from from Gaijin is watching, why don't we have the ability to help all of our teammates repair? Why is it only this auto squad mate or the you know, the, the guy that we squatted up with, with ourselves. Why can't we help any teammate? It's so helpful to be able to help a, a teammate repair, get them out of a sticky situation. This is, after all, a team game. Let's, let's, let's be able to help all of our allies repair. It makes so much more sense. I consider pushing up with that T-34 that I just helped repair, but I, I want more angles on these guys, so I, I go in the city. I see what I thought was a, a tank with a bush, and as they go, go in for a shot, a, a little Hetzer pops up, so I shot him right in the side, one shot. Then I shoot the bush. It turns out it is just a bush in the middle of the city. I don't know why. Then the Stug who killed the T-34 that I repaired pops out. Beautiful side shot. And look at the gun. Just one shot central, man. The gun on this thing is awesome. I actually feel like I have an actual chance against the Germans here. This Panzer IV pops up. I shoot him in the in that tracked area that not only blows off that that additional add-on armor, but it marks him on the map for my allies to to see. After all, tanks is uh, it's about angles and it's about knowing where the enemy actually is. It's all about intel. I hear some shots behind me, so I turn my attention there. A Panzer IV comes rolling through. I back up down into my little hole. One shot. Vaporized the crew in that tank. <laughs> it's, this gun is awesome. Keep in mind, this is my very first game in this in this tank. Then across the water, I spot another Panzer IV. He sees me, but I don't I don't have gun depression, so I pull back. He fires, and that's fine. I I dodge that shot. Uh, you're not going to bounce very many Panzer IVs, unfortunately. The 75 millimeter on those tanks is is remarkable. When he gets the courage to push out, and I aim just a little bit high, it takes out all of his turret crew. 
And it'll be sometime before he would resurface. If if I got shot and my turret crew got knocked out, I'd be a little cautious as well. <laughs> I see what I think is a bush a bush tank, but it's actually just a bush or a tree behind a, a dead tank. And there's my little buddy. One shot, take out the driver and gunner. Finally he's gone. It took him probably two minutes to actually resurface after I hit, hit him in the turret earlier on. Uh, he was he was pretty cautious. He was he was not going to show himself. The enemies have pretty much stayed fairly close to the water. There have been two or three tanks that flanked all the way up into E4 and E5. But for the most part, most of the fighting has taken place down here in the city and across the water. And that's, and that's actually fine. I, I prefer it that way. It's really close and really close quarters combat. I go ahead and set up an ambush, but I hear an engine off to my right, so I I turn around thinking he'll come around through this area and into the cap. Just a matter of who is it and when is he going to show up. Come on, buddy. You can push out. There's nobody here. Oh, it's a stug. Oh, you fired. You're dead. Or not. Uh, tracks are the best armor. <laughs> uh, how do you... How do you shoot a track and it doesn't even do anything? Oh, he's turned. Move. Move, move, push. Oh, got your gunner. Transmission and driver. He's he's done. Take out the loader. And that's the power of this gun. It's immobilize him and kill him. In a fast reload, you saw how, how fast that was. That's a five second reload. It's it's remarkable. You don't even need this to be in, in, on an ace crew. Here, another tank in front of me. That's a little flat panzer. And almost kill everything. I wounded half of his crew, killed the other half. We'll finish the, off the other half. <laughs> Just one shot almost. And these are the, the most common tanks you're going to see. You're going to see a lot of Stugs, a lot of uh, Panzer IVs, flat panzers. You're going to see whirlwinds and all kinds of stuff as people bring in their, their SPA at the end of the game. I hear another SPA, but he gets killed and there's, there's another Stug. Uh, driver Gunner. My ally would take out the transmission just a half second before I shot, so that second shot was basically a waste. I consider shooting the left side, but I'd, I'm not sure I was going to be able to get around that big gun of his. So I just went for the, to the right side and I see another tank up top. Another Panzer IV. I hit the big fuel tank that's up there. I guess it gets some shrapnel into that tank, but nothing really happens. Second shot takes out the loader and cannon breach. He pops smoke to provide himself from cover and hopefully survive the rest of the game. But I'm not here to show him any mercy. <laughs> Come on. Loader again. The breach is still out, so he can't really fight back. I'm worried about clipping this, this roof. It's so close. Ricochet off the armor. Move a little bit to the right. And driver gunner for the ninth and final kill of the battle. Absolutely amazing gun. And that's really the selling point of this tank. It's just an outstanding gun if you get normal matchmaking. If you get an up tier against Tigers, you're going to have a, a, a much more difficult time on your hands. With nine kills and a premium account, wrecked in 72,000 silver lines, 6,000 in re research. So if you're finding yourself low on lines, if you're trying to grind through the Russians, this is a darn good tank to pick up. Anyway guys, I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, hit that thumbs up button. And of course, if you're new to the channel, please subscribe. Take care guys.